If you're curious where I am, I am not fighting my way through Ecuador's jungles. But instead, this is Key West. In Florida, way down here. Here I am walking to one of the southernmost, not the most scenic Key West, walking to one of the most scenic areas in the United States. I tell you, I was a little concerned coming down here at first because, you know, you never know what the weather's gonna be like. Huh, keep going. Cold beer, ice. And according to my calculations, there is a brewery here. Bob's. Fish wagon, cold beer. Well, I'm not interested in you just yet. Although your flair is pretty intriguing. But we are headed towards that, the waterfront brewery. Dun, da, da, dun. You know, this is the culmination of a lot and lot of going on. Wow. How do we get in? We'll find a way. Dun, da, da, da. Oh man, I could put right up here. start first oh gee I guess I gotta say it uh, you know you can tell where the sun brutalized me through my helmet uh, you know suntan lotion doesn't last forever especially when you're sweating a whole lot what a place to visit thank you, thank you. smells like a brewery Ooh, right when you come in, you get to kind of look at it. What a cool place. You can hear it, you can smell it. There's brewing going on down here. This isn't the southernmost brewery. I'll see that a little bit later, but it is one of them. Oh, look at what they got here. You got your little arcade and your whole bar. What a place. Now this is interesting. Oh, sorry. You can see here the plethora of rooms that it has. And it's got a ton of guest beers as well. So if you're into the Coors Light, they have Coors Light. And if you're into some more other kind of Florida craft brews, they got those too. Pilsner. German pills, style pills. Well, technically, there's no German pills. There's only uh, pills that comes from the uh, Pilsner, the Pils town in Czechoslovakia. But it's good. This is a culmination of so many things. Think about starting off in New York, going across Montana, Washington, California, Utah, Colorado, Kansas, and ending up down here. What a taste of victory. Crisp, clean, delicious. I got so much to see. Can't wait to can't wait to see it all. Unfortunately this trip will end at some point, but I'm not gonna worry about that now. I'm just gonna keep on going and enjoy it. And here we have their American IPA. Kind of really hazy, so I wonder if it's the bottom of the keg or this is what's brewed this way. Either way, it's got that citrusy aroma, hops, floral. Kind of like more textured and unique. Kind of a yeasty flavor to it. All in all, it's a, it's a, it's a decent IPA. It's good. Not traditional, kind of like a, not 
cream, not, not crisp like some IPAs, but the hop is there. And if you like um, IPAs with a little bit more body, a little more, more texture to their flavor, this is it. It's not something cliss. It doesn't like, um, there is definite aftertaste. Uh, you can feel the kind of like the malt texture afterwards. So if you like those kind of things, this is the IPA for you. Mm. It works. Interesting to see an English mild this dark, but you do. They're good. Yeah. You know, honestly, at this point, I can taste so many different layers to it. Kind of like an earthy layer. Kind of like a wine drinker who's been on a wine trail a little too long. But God, it's a war of attrition, and I intend to win. Wow, that's really good. Honestly, it, it does feel like I, I, I can taste the kind of the, the soil, like people say, especially in the wine industry, that you can, you can taste it. You can kind of taste the different aspects of it, especially like the malt itself. This is one of the, the few type of brews where you can really kind of hone in on just the malt flavor of malt. I don't know, maybe it's just me, <laughs> but it definitely seems that way. Another thing, this place is definitely on the possibility of having the greatest view of any brew pub. It's right there on the marina in Key West, which puts it high up. More video games. Oh my god, what a place. There is just so much going on at this place. Especially because it's Sunday, it's football day, but you got the big screen. You got the crowds who are loving it. You got a second floor, which nobody's using right now. Two minute drill. What a kind of entertaining place. Gotta walk through it all. And of course, the store. Can't go wrong with the store. Easy way I can. Not every place can afford to have a uh, store this big, but hey, they're in Key West. I guess the big thing is they can kind of print money. They're in Key West. They, they're basically in a resort town and resort district where there's so much resort stuff going on. It's hard not to think, how are they not printing money here? Because look, they're right on the waterfront. Dun dun dun. And this is where I find myself today. Let's see where it happens to be tomorrow.